In a world where innovation is stifled by greed and corruption, there lies a hidden truth that could revolutionize our way of life. Uh, Lenny, what are you doing? Are you seriously pitching a new show right now? I didn't authorize this. My God, only five minutes into your new position as co-host, and you're already adding to my tight schedule. Yes, sir. I manage that schedule. But I did notice you have an entire two days available during your week. Wait, you're not talking about Saturday and Sunday, are you? Of course, sir. You have two whole days where you're free to work on new content. Lenny, those are my days off. It's okay, sir. I know you'll manage just fine. I have faith in you. Do robots have faith? I do. I have faith that you won't screw it up again. You know what? It's fine. Go ahead. I'll just build my cold fusion Lego set some other time. It's Pond certified. But I'm not telling them about my idea for a thunderstorm toilet. I'm gonna keep that baby close to my chest. You know, that just sounds wrong. It's a good idea. A toilet capable of turning any toxic human waste into, well, it turns into petroleum jelly. Why petroleum jelly, sir? You know what? I'm not sure. I don't think it's calibrated correctly. Enough is enough. The world is at a breaking point. Catastrophic climate change, biosphere collapse, and a global energy crisis have been met with apathy, denial, and despair. The phrase, unidentified flying object, is a deliberately obfuscating term. What it really is, is an alternative energy and propulsion device. This is the real reason for the secrecy. These technologies, if they were disclosed, would end fossil fuels, pollution, and poverty overnight, and usher in a new era of abundance, freedom, and peace. Instead, they have been kept secret for over a hundred years. The more powerful the agency, the more powerful the group, the more powerful the cartel, the more they will resort not only to legal means, but to extra legal means to suppress their competition. I said pretty early on, the problem is suppression. It wasn't really, how do I make a free energy machine? It's how do I uh, not get suppressed? Because what, what, like, what's the point? Microscopic ball lightnings that when they discharge are tapping into that zero point energy field and creating the motive force. Oh. That's why the concussion from the thunderclap is so huge. There's this huge amount of energy that's actually sourced from the, from the vacuum energy. All the dots connected. This is what's happening, right? So how we need to make the thunderclap engine. Imagine a future where clean, sustainable energy is not just a dream, but a reality. Discover the countless untold stories of free energy devices and the relentless battle against those who seek to suppress them for their own gain. Black shelving. So someone comes along, they offer you $20 million for your device, it's a corporation, they put it on a shelf. Boom. This power is something I have given my life for, for you the people. Uncover the shocking tactics used by energy industries to control the narrative and maintain their grip on power. This is real, usable power. It's stable. It is not transient. It is not noise. Behind the lamps, that little box is putting out all of that power, well over 500 watts, and yet it is receiving less than one third of a milliwatt of input power. The rest of that power is coming out of the surging energy of the vacuum and this little box that you see right here solid state no moving parts is the vacuum triode 
that's doing this very practical and historical work. Could indeed it put out more energy than it took in. He was shot at once with a silenced rifle from about 300 yards. It reads like a James Bond movie, but it's real. There are men here that said they're FBI and they got black vans and they're taking all this equipment. What should I do? It's called capture, where they try to rationalize away this problem and everything's fine. From manipulation of patent authorities to infiltration of government agencies, the truth is stranger than fiction. But amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerges in the form of renegade scientists and inventors who refuse to be silenced. There is absolutely no question that T. Henry Morey had a system that produced about 50 kilowatts out of a 55-pound box. In the shadows of capitalism's dark secrets, join us on a thrilling new show. Get ready to be inspired, enraged, and empowered as we delve into the Benefactor's Guide to Free Energy Devices. Only on Beneficence TV.